Hello friends, we are into the chapter number two, input actions in UI interaction. So let's see what it is and what are the key properties that we have to learn. Myself Rakesh from UiPath Expo Hub. In case you are new to our channel, please do subscribe to our channel so that you can learn a lot of things, a lot of concepts which you may not get outside. Now, I was talking, we have to learn about input actions or input activities. So generally there are three main activities one is the click activity and the other one is your type into activity right and the third one could be send hotkey so we have to learn all the properties of all of this right so this is what is very important when i drag and drop any activity for example let's say click activity this is one of the input activity right so if i take click activity okay i have to expand it and if i drag and drop the click activity what happens on the right hand side there are a lot of property panels so one must have proper understanding of all these properties okay so let's go the quick ones and understand each of it now continue on error so this is this is the activity which is very very important let's say uh, i am having so many activities on my workflow and in case there is an error I want it to go to the next activity then you should check this okay if it is true then it is going to skip it if, if there is an error it will not stop here it will continue with the next activity okay so depending on the need we can use it delay after delay before delay after means after it clicks on that application or on that hyperlink or on that um, place right once it clicks you want to give a delay delay before means before that these are very generic ones now what i have to understand is the click type okay in the click type there are single click double click down click up click okay so these are the four different types depending on your use you can use it very uh, simple to understand mouse button simple uh, left uh, mouse button you want to click or right click you want to do or middle click you, have, you want to do so these are the three available options quite simple to understand now let's uh, see uh, there is something called key modifiers okay for example i want to do a click but i want to do a control click okay so that the link should open in a new tab so depending on the need i can use the key modifiers so if they ask you what are the key modifiers available in the input actions that means you can say alt control shift when these are the key modifiers available for us to use okay so very simple uh, remember this and in the previous uh, video i have explained you what is send windows messages and simulate click in a detailed manner in case you have missed the previous video please go ahead and check that it's a quick seven minutes eight minutes video you can learn okay so we have understood these activities now let's go to our second activity which is send or type into activity right type into so we'll take the type into activity and try to understand the properties again all of these are common things now what i wanted to tell you is um, so here there is an option called activate okay so what is the meaning of activate and by default it may remain true so if it is true what is the what does this do activate means let's say while you are typing into a web browser or an application you want that application to remain in the background or would you like to bring it to the front and type okay so so the type uh, if it is true that means it's going to activate the window in the front of your screen all right um, alter disable click before typing okay click before typing is it will first click and then type so what you do to understand all the meanings in case you don't recall the best option is you highlight and it is going to show you the details of uh, this activity what it does okay so i have a little bit of delay uh, then let's understand uh, empty field okay so empty field is one of the key important um, while you are doing a type into uh, generally you want to empty let's say you are typing the username 
you would like to empty that username and then enter a username right so empty field also most of the time many of the projects might have a failure because the developer did not check this so empty field is a very very important area while using type into activity as per my experience okay um, similar way uh, send windows message okay this too i have already um, explained it before so let's say activate when the checkbox is selected the specified ui element is brought to the foreground and activated before the text is written okay the same explanation which i gave few minutes before okay delay between keys let's say i want to type rakesh so i want to type r then wait for a couple of milliseconds then i want to type a so if you want in that kind of a fashion you can use this delay between keys so very simple to understand quite easy to implement okay very good let's get on to the next activity called send hot keys okay send hot key this is a very very important activity again in the input actions of ui interaction chapter okay so all of this i have explained uh click before typing delay between keys okay empty field key modifiers okay so again the similar fields that we have so understanding all of this key properties are required so someone can ask you just by dragging and dropping an activity and simply tell you uh, what is the key modifier is utilized for so you should know so the key modifier is to apply control alt del delete and then send the hot key so for, for that i need to use the key modifier okay send windows message uh, special key what this is for um, used delay between keys click before typing okay so all of this can be understood quite well you can also search uh, let's say you do not recall and you want to understand a specific property the best thing is you can go to google and type uipath docs and the activity name so you will say uipath docs space send hotkey so there will be a document page which will open from uipath where it has got complete detailed documentation in case you need that way okay so thank you this is a kind of a more of a um, introduction for you to understand what they are how those things works and i hope uh, things are very clear to you and you should uh, explore on your own couple of things which are not which i might have not covered in this video but again i would always respect those people who explore and try to learn on their own uh, you know a little bit of guidance is required but again explore um, exploring is something needed for everybody to learn and master anything thank you very much you guys have a great day